is item number five, an application for a certificate of appropriateness in the borough of Brooklyn. It's 349 Smith Street, located within the Carroll Gardens Historic District, docket number 156365, block 450, lot 8, an Italian 8 an Italian eight style row house with commercial ground floor, built in 1871-72. Application is to modify storefront infill and replace a door installed without Landmarks Preservation Commission permits. This application has two components. The first is to remove modern storefront infill that was installed without Landmarks Preservation Commission permits um, and install a new storefront that will feature um, wood details, a transom window, a panel bulkhead, a splayed entrance, which is kind of hard to tell in this photograph. Um, they're restoring a cornice here and then installing signage on a retractable awning and a little bit of vinyl um, on the glazing. So um, this is the photograph from the time of designation, and um, we can see here what they're modeling their new storefront after the tax photo, very thin profiling. Um, the second component is that they also have, it's very hard to tell in these photographs, they're dark, but um, a metal illegal door to the upper stories. So they're proposing to remove that door that was also installed without OPC permits, and to install a paneled wood door that would match the um, details of the historic photo here. So Leslie Barnett um, from LAB um, Architects is here to discuss the proposal. Yeah, but I don't know. Oh, there. There's the, oh, okay. I see. Well, I think the proposal is pretty straightforward. Um, the we're replacing a storefront that was at the not time of designation. I mean, the tax photo, um, from what we understand, was a steel and glass storefront, very thin steel mullions and a plain stone. What looks like may have been a plain stone base, um, and we are requesting to instead install a wood and glass storefront, as Michelle said, with a wood bulkhead with panel molding. Um, keeping the proportions the same as the, uh, the tax photo shows with the transom and the base. Um, you can see here the, the retail door it looks like it was just a metal and glass, pretty basic store entrance, and we're proposing to replace it with a wood and glass, wood and glass door that would be more similar to the panel door for the residential <coughs> entrance and then the cornice to match the uh, cornice adjacent, but keeping in line with their other the neighbor on the other side. Um, hopefully one day when that gets <laughs> redone, we'll, we'll look a little better. Um, and, uh, and the retractable <coughs> on it. And just, I can go through the details of it. Just on, in terms of the, the cornice, so it's uh, historically the cornice, is that? in front of the building to the left? Is that in line? Uh, no, I think that's just the, the Photoshop. Okay, it's but it's supposed to be connecting? No. You know, I don't know. Can we go to the next page, the elevations? Um, it shows a little more clearly there. And also, she modeled it after the one to the right because it looks like those were all in a row, whereas the one to the left is different. So kind of oh, you said down building ahead like this, right? So right, so these are so these align. But that so, um, yeah. no, I think these buildings are are all they're all lined up. The the storefront on um, on this building, um, you know, the is shorter. The, 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 these are bays that stick that stick out, but these buildings line up. Right, but just in terms of the placement of the cornice, is that that's the historic condition? There's evidence, well, there's evidence because of what you and I were looking at on site. There's evidence that they were possibly connected, um, and we, we, think, that we believe that these that that were connected. connected but yeah. No, but I think you were asking if it was going to be proud. Of I was. I was wondering whether it's proud of the uh, this one. Yes. I don't, I don't believe so. I think they're 
all. Okay, so that was the, it's only that's higher. Okay, all right, yeah. got it. Yeah, okay. Yes. Also, um, so I think that it's maybe just the. I think the that's the yeah. yeah because it shopping. looks like it's um, shifted a little to the left yeah. in the photograph. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that's yeah. just. And it, and it looks like the end is right. the like red not at the end of the you. building. So, uh, half of the red pillar, and you're proposing to paint the rest of it red because it looks a little. I mean. Weird. Yeah, it, you can see here it looks a little weird too. Oh, actually, no, I guess, I'm so, excuse me, we had it. I think probably better off. So, so really, the cornice, the cornice is going to stop where the red pillar stops. Yes. Yeah. So, Commissioner, just to point out, this um, this storefront was removed in, and replaced in, in violation, and that's why you're seeing it today. It, it would conform to the restorative aspects, and this, the design of the storefront would conform with our new storefront guidelines. It's just the uh, the storefront from the 30s was replaced without permits from us. This, this um, yeah, this I don't know exactly. It's a little hard to tell what this actually looked like at the time of designation, but. Here, um, before the new tenant was doing work inside, this was um, not even brick veneer. It was like this plastic fake panel, really attractive on the front of the building. And when they started doing the work inside, the whole front just fell apart, exactly. OK, yes. In Roberta? terms of height, which height is correct? Yes, right. It aligns. It aligns with this one, and it's definitely above this one. There's a. The, the windows are lower on this neighbor. Yeah. Uh, where's the same? They're the same here, and there's um, a stucco band that protrudes under the windows. And that's lower. But the building to the right doesn't have the cornice right now, isn't that correct? It, it actually does. It oh, okay, I thought. Yeah, it's, it's behind an illegal sign, though, so it's hard to Okay. Tell you, though, <laughs> 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 right. Okay, any uh, other questions? Okay, now the questions, any speakers on this item? Any speakers? Okay, no speakers. All right, uh, we can close the hearing. Okay. Thank you. Any, any concerns? It's next door, and not on our building. It's not, but next door. It looks like it, it's at least partially behind the team. behind the sign. Behind the sign. All right, but it seems that uh, with our staff, they've established that where the cornice is is where it was historically. Correct? Okay. Any concerns? <laughs> okay. All right. Um, Michael, would you like to read the resolution? Thank you. In the matter of 349 Smith Street in the Carroll Gardens Historic District, an application to modify storefront infill and replace the door install without Landmarks Preservation Commission permits. I recommend approval, finding that the removal of the existing storefront, which was installed without LPC permits, will not result in damage to or loss of any significant historic fabric. The materials, configuration, and details of the proposed storefront featuring wood panel bulkheads, transom, profiled wood framing, and a splayed return. Recall the configuration materials and details of the building's historic storefront and other historic storefronts within the district. That the proposed wood cornice will match the design materials and details of the adjacent historic storefront cornice. And the proposed wood panel residential entrance door will return the entrance to its historic condition. Okay, second. Aye. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Okay, the application has been approved. Okay, Commissioner.